There are certain countries where cricket hasn't reached and that is the effort which uh, both me and Shane we are trying to explore. Uh, globalizing cricket is, is, is our dream, it's, it's our vision. We realized it uh, last year when we played a, uh, a, a celebra celebration game at Lords. Uh, the retired cricketers post-match realized that you know the passion for the game is still alive and why not use that energy somewhere where it's constructive and we feel satisfied. That's the reason we started uh, thinking why not travel around the world to the places where live cricket has been deprived. You know, you have access to cricket only through internet and uh, you know, watching a few highlights here and there. But actually going to stadiums and witnessing that is, is, is something which is missing. That's why we felt we could come here and uh, get people engaged and entertain, introduce them to new sport. And if I'm not mistaken, the first cricket match was played here in the 1700s. Uh, pretty amazing. A, a lot of people think of cricket as being a five-day game with yeah. no winner. Here in the U.S., we're used to that three, four-hour max game. Yeah. Uh, do Americans just have too short of an attention span? No, I don't think so. I think Americans, are, they love their sport. They're passionate about their sport. We know in L.A. there's, only four, there's more than 45 teams. In New York here, there's over 60 teams playing cricket. So it is played in America. And as we said before, it was played in the early 1700s cricket was played here. So there is a history of it. I think any country has their own sports and they play it. And it's pretty jam-packed with a lot of different sports. But there are so many expats here that live in America. There's also a lot of Americans here that I think will actually enjoy 2020. This is a three hour game. As you say, a lot of Americans think cricket, it goes for five days and there's still no result. You can't be serious. What we're bringing to, uh, what Satch and I are bringing here to America is the rock and roll version of cricket. It's 2020 cricket, it goes for three hours. It's pure entertainment. What we've found around the world is there's a lot of wives and partners and children. It's a real family thing. It's a day out, it's a night out. And um, you know, I think what we're going to see is some wonderful players that have played over the last 20 years, some exciting players. And uh, when you think of the concept, iconic baseball stadiums, a drop-in cricket pitch, some of the best players that have ever played the game, it's a pretty amazing concept and pretty unique. And we think that's gonna grab the attention and the, capture the public's imagination too. Millions of fans here in the US and Canada, you've got sponsors for these all-star games like MasterCard, State Farm and Pepsi. Is corporate America not quite getting it yet? Because in other parts of the world, you have many, many more sponsors for these sorts of games. You can only have X number of sponsors on your T-shirt. You can't have <laughs> more than that. You know, it's, it's a cricket match, not a circus. Yeah, so exactly. Well, we would, uh, yes, there were a lot of uh, sponsors who, who sh who've, who've shown interest, but uh, we need to consider the best offers. And, uh, you know, also uh, to, to have, uh, the companies like like Pepsi, Mastercard, Citibank, uh, State Farm, Oxygen, these are all well reputed companies, and, and to have them on board is it's fantastic. And they help too, you know. These things just don't happen. You need those sponsors so we can go out to the communities, we can go and see the kids, we can give coaching clinics, and we can do all those types of things and spread the word of cricket. And those things happen, you know. We've got to get the players here. There's a common, there's lots of things that happen. So we're very lucky that a lot of these great sponsors have come on board. So three matches in this series across the country. Will we see more cricket in 2016 here in the US? Yes, we would like to come back here. And uh, as, as uh, you asked us earlier that, you know, would we get more sponsorship deals? You know, it's, it's not about how many deals we get. It's about how many hearts we can win here. We'd like to win hearts here and come back again because the, the whole idea is to globalize cricket, get people more engaged and more involved in cricket. Uh, if we come here next time and we spot an American kid who has a cricket, kid, uh, cricket bat in his kit bag yeah. alongside a baseball bat, yeah. that would mean a lot to yeah, us. Yeah, 100%. You guys have played countless matches against each other. <laughs> Are you still going to be competitive in these three games with each other? Look, I, I, well, what we can say is we've played a lot against each other and I'm sort of like hoping Sachin will take it easy on me. That's, Sachin yeah. smashed me all Some, over the park. Something <laughs> happens once we cross the rope, you know, once we cross the rope and we are out to compete something happens and, and, and all the 28 players who are here, once you know you cross the rope, 
you're going to get competitive Game and on. that is what people want to see. We don't want to disappoint them. Yeah, there'll be competitive matches, that's for sure. You cross that white line and you play something for 20 years and you've I suppose being some of the guys here, the best there's ever been, I promise you that uh, it'll be game on for sure. Shane, Sachin, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. Thanks Pleasure. for having us. Thank you. And here he is.